For those who don't know, I did find Simba outside. So he is a street cat who I turned into a house cat. But he's still a baby. Hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Am I tripping or she got a whole bunch of scratches on her face? If I'm putting two and two together, the cat had to have done that. If your cat is whooping your ass like that, time to give her or him an, an eviction notice. What's up? He wasn't sweet when he was beating your ass. I know that. Simba didn't turn your ass in a scar. I know that. Oh, I got a good. I don't know. Man, these don't so care. They will, they will rip it. I had that happen before and I was so sure upset. Will. I felt so uncomfortable. I was like, no, I got to work out. Because we were having sex and he gripped. <laughs> he gripped my stomach. And I was like, what the Like when we would sleep, hug my stomach while he's sleeping. I used to just be like, man, like, give me that fupa. I don't know why y'all think that we want skinny bit. No offense to the slender women, but we want our lady to come with a bit of meat, a bit of cushion. I'm one of them dudes when females be showing they like before and after picture, I be loving the before picture. And to be honest with you, some of y'all need to stop losing weight because y'all don't look right skinny. Ladies, y'all have that one friend that lost weight and you like, damn, I think she looked better when she was big. Some of y'all be looking better big. Check this out. Every do something to get paid, right? Like when you make your music, you post it, you try to get paid off of it, right? So why the f would I be motherfucking promoting your you trying to get paid for for free. You niggas unreal. Seriously. As much as I would hate to admit it, he has a point. This is one of the reasons why I've been doing YouTube for years, and you can probably count on five fingers the time that I've asked somebody that I know to share my sh I'm not paying you. What I look like asking you to share my sh for free. Do you guys want to hear about how I was scammed recently? And before you say anything, just know that I know it was my fault, okay? And I was dumb and stupid, and I have no street smarts, and I'm learning every day, okay? <laughs> but in Atlanta, we have oh. water boys, and they are boys on the side of the road who sell water bottles, Gatorade bottles for like a dollar, two dollars cash. And they range from like the ages of uh, 12 to 17, I guess, from what I've seen. And so I'm on the side of the road. Usually I give them like a dollar, two dollars. I'm driving to work, and so I see them there. And I get my $2 cash out, <laughs> and one of them knocks my window. He goes, miss, are you donating today? And I was like, yeah, here's $2. And he goes, no, no, cash app. And I was like, cash app, really? And he was like, yeah, we're all, like, getting money together to give it to our coach. And I was like, okay, well, why don't you just take the $2 cash and give it to your coach? And he was like, no, it's really hard for us to go out and see him. It, it didn't strike me as weird still. So I was like, oh, okay, um, well, why don't you just take the $2 and keep it for yourself? Ooh. And he was like, no, we really want new jerseys for the basketball team. So I was like, okay, fine, what's your coach's cash app? I have my phone, like, in my car. I'm holding it. It's plugged in. And he was like, oh, his cash app is... And I was like, huh? And he goes, his cash app is... I'm holding up traffic now because they're on, like, an exit ramp off the highway. The light is turning green. I'm holding up traffic. Now I'm, like, getting antsy. I got to, like, figure this out quick. So I'm like, I'm, can you spell it for me, please? And he was like, oh, here, I'll just type it in. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so he grabs my phone, unplugs it from my car, takes it fully outside of the car. The second he had my phone outside of the car, five of them swore my car, distracting me. And they're like, oh, miss, like, what's going on? Where are you going today? Blah, blah, blah. Like, Say, how's your day? Talking about the weather, shit like that. I still don't think anything is weird. He gives me back my phone. He goes, okay, thanks, walks away. He puts the phone right in front of my face. All of a sudden, bing, facial ID goes through. Money sent. And I was like, oh, oh my God, he probably sent like $20, 50 to his 20? coach. I'm still in the fucking scam, right? I'm still in that. I look, $600. $600 sent to 
at Maya bad bitch. Uh -huh. That's not funny. That's not funny, guys. That's not funny. That's not funny. A few of them are like, miss, what happened? What happened? I'm like, you just sent $600 to a random girl. One of them starts laughing. And I'm like, it's not funny. And they're like, give us your phone. We'll fix it. And I'm like, don't touch my phone. I'm going crazy now. I'm late for work. And I'm like, you know what? You know what? I'm going to take the L. This is my fault. I should have seen this coming. Bro. I'm going to take the L. No. <laughs> I get to work. By the time I get to work, I go on Cash App. I see that Cash App was like, um, we're going to refund you in two days. So all is well. No hard feelings. Um, but if you're from the Atlanta area, you know what I'm talking about. Not all the water boys are deceptive and malicious, but there are a few bad seeds in the bunch. So if they ask for your Cash App or they ask for your phone, say no. Bro, the moment you see the water boys coming towards your car, put your window up, put your music up, and ignore the f*** out of them. The water boys really be wildin'. They be wildin'. Like, if they get any feelings about you not trying to give them no money, I've seen situations where they stole the car. They like, how the hell they steal the person's car? They try to get money from the dude. Dude's like, nah, I'm not interested. I'm not interested. They open one of the water bottles, threw the water on him. So now he upset. He get out the car and chased the kid that threw the water. Not thinking about the other mother, little mother that's over there. One of the other kids that was over there jumped in the car and stole it and got the hell on. My paychecks with taxes taken out would be like like almost eleven hundred every two weeks. Oh my god. But that's what taxes taken out. So are y'all single? Is it is it hard to be in a relationship? I've been single for I three years. I don't want to be in a relationship and I ain't looking for Y'all get money. Uh, money? And like uh, they deserve that shit. Nah, about the money. Deserve I, it ain't hold on, hold on, hold on. Boy, he feeding them some good old ninety three. Jesus Christ, he gassing them the hell up. $1,100 every two weeks is not a lot of money. Especially in 2024, that's not a lot of money, bro. He's out here in this generation <laughs> yeah. that, that's on my type of time and nah, on my actually, level. I got I ain't really with no nigga who ain't got no car or yeah. no job or no place. Because if they can't match what I got, then yeah. what the fuck is they bring to the table? Um, first off, the way that, 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 that N-word is just rolling off of her tongue. Oh. Wow. Wow. So they gotta be fresh and cute. Ain't it, and no, it ain't even gotta be that. I'm not saying like, cause also real, I done try to bring it up, but yeah. that ain't worth she, yeah. she done providing for it. I ain't doing that again. That again. But look, also real, like, it's not <laughs> I'm just not gonna Treat. You used to be a treat. Man, hell no. Keep it on, honey. Oh my Not God. Just I mean, I used to support uh, him because I, he was my first love. But like, uh, he yeah. wasn't like that at first until. Oh, sure. But besides that, like I said, I ain't one no who can't match my energy. My paychecks with taxes taken out would be like like almost 1100 every two weeks. Oh, my but God. I didn't even catch she said almost 1100 every two weeks. Not even 1100 Almost 1100 every two weeks. She out here talking spicy with eleven hundred dollars. She must know something I don't know. So apparently, I am not considered a normal person here in America because I don't take pills to sleep. I don't take birth control. I don't suppress my feelings with pills on my bad days. I get a lot of sun and I don't get skin cancer. I don't take vitamin supplements. I am not on anti-depression or anti-anxiety. However, I eat clean, I exercise, I sleep enough, I drink enough water. I spend a lot of time on the sun without the sunscreen. And I do not eat fast food. Oh, now I see why I am not normal. Y'all know I love me some dark chocolate, okay? I'm, I admit that. I love me some dark chocolate. And I'm just admiring how gorgeous this woman is.